Hi guys, I am Ranjit. Welcome to Frontlines Media. In this video, we will discuss the scientist exam strategies in this video. We will discuss the mail and mail. Now, we will discuss the mail and mail. In January 7th, 8th, around that time, we will discuss the exam in January 7th, 8th, around that time. So, we will discuss the exam in this video. टिप्स एंड स्ट्राटजी से अवसर का बट्टी मैं आलरे वीडियो अच्छे इसरो जॉब आल क्रैक तो मैं इंत मुझे हाउ टू क्रैक सैंट जॉब अट इसो यूट्यूब मैं चसा आ वीडियो चूस ना हेल्प नी आयन की रीचटी एट स्टूडेंट्स की मेल वे एग्जाम कोसमें चेते आये मल्ल मन टिप्स चबदा चेपी मन की पाजिट रेस्पन सो हीज़ वेन ईज गोइंग टू गिव सम गई इसरो एग्जाम स्ट्राटी Hi, Hi Ranjit. Uh, thank you for having me here. So, as Ranjit has already introduced, that we are going to talk about the written exam for ISRO uh, scientist engineer, which is going to be conducted on seventh. So, what we will do is we will discuss two things in this exam. First, we'll try to cover uh, what we how can we utilize the last five days, and then we'll uh, see how can we better prepare ourselves for the exam uh, examination setting, and then we'll also discuss how to approach the paper. So let me just share my screen and Ranjit, let me know if the voice is not audible in between. Just yeah, sure. uh, point me. I'll start sharing. Let me know if you are able to see. So I think this is the recruitment which we are talking about currently. The exam date. If you are able to see, let me yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. So this is they have declared that exam is held on seventh of Jan and today since we are recording this video on thirty first, so we just have uh, around five to six days to approach the exam. So let's get directly to the strategy and what we can do. How can we utilize these days? So I'll start sharing. Your sharing is off, Vinay. I think it is. It should be uh, visible now. Is it visible? Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. So this is the exam we are talking about. Written exam is scheduled to be on seventh. The paper pattern would be like this. So I have just uh, summarized it here. There will be two sections in the paper. Part A will be technical, depending on which stream you are appearing, and Part A will consist of 80 questions with one mark each, and will also have negative marking of one by three. So please keep this in mind that negative marking will also be there for technical part. For the aptitude and reasoning part, there are only 15 questions with 20 marks, and there is no negative marking. So we'll come to this. How to approach this particular exam and how to cover all the questions, everything in just a while. So I've divided into two parts. First part, we'll see what we can do and how can we utilize these last five to six days. So if I assume that first, second, third, fourth, and five, six, we have seventh is our exam day. So there are two specific things. There are there may be two three kinds of people which I've just listed down. The ones who have been preparing for a couple of months and they are very uh, much ready. They have done the gate PYQs, everything as we had discussed last last time also. and there will be some people who have not prepared specifically for the exam but they are very thorough with their engineering subjects so they can also approach this exam and there are some people who have not practiced and prepared at all but i would suggest they should also give the exam they should not leave the opportunity to experience the intro exam so we'll discuss one by one everybody uh, for first and first two categories i would suggest since we have five to six days we can uh, what i have done is uh, the first second third and fourth day i would ask everybody to just do isro pyqs and uh, as much as possible because what happens in isro exam is not as difficult as gate exam they will try to cover all the topics all the subjects uh, to a very fair depth not uh, they will not be going in too much of depth so since the uh, since we see uh, saw the pattern that there are around uh, uh, 95 questions which has to be solved in 120 minutes so you can't expect some hard questions also to come the questions will be easy to moderate with moderate being lesser and easy being more so that's what we can expect from the time setting and the number of questions given to us So if that is the case, we have to equip ourselves from all the subjects. We can't leave any subjects, any easier subjects, because easier questions you can't afford to leave because they they are the questions which everybody is going to solve. So they are the questions which will get you marks and rank. So what I'll suggest is start doing PYQs, and you can do PYQs and test series. Test series you don't do if you have already done with all the PYQs, then you can do test series in first two, two three, and till fourth. Five and six reserve yourself for revision only. Don't do any test because it can reduce your confidence level also. So just uh, you would have had some notes or uh, some topics which you have already been referring to. Just revise those in the last two days or last two and a half days, and then get ready for the examination setting. 
so for computer science specifically since i am from computer science background so i'll just add few more things for computer science levels as per the last patterns of the examination c language data structures algorithms db os computer networks theory of computation compiler design dld co engineering mathematics and discrete mathematics very scoring subjects web technology and software engineering very theoretical ones but very scoring so don't leave these subjects whichever if somebody would have already been preparing for gate exam they would be very thorough for these subjects but also try to cover web technology and software engineering because they are some times ask questions and they are very easy questions so try to cover everything so if somebody has not covered anything they, they can just uh, reduce their test solving to 1 2 and 3 and 4 5 6 they can uh, revise all the subjects so if somebody who has not prepared well i would consider that he has not uh, done all the pyqs and also i'll say you just do isro pyqs and for specifically computer science people i would suggest if you have to do isro pyqs you can go to a website which is gate overflow i'll just share that particular website you can uh, or i'll show it here just a minute huh? So this is the website, Gate Overflow for Computer Science students. You can just go to this exam section, exam section, and then you can decide, uh, select this ISRO, and then you select this full length. So you will get all the full length test of ISROs past year, ISRO 2020, 2018, and these are just 90 minutes test, and easy easy questions will be there. 80 mark, 80 questions, 90 minutes. So it will not be tough questions. You can go through because ISRO. What happens is generally it repeats the questions of ISRO PYQ or Gate PYQs. So there is very high chance that. The questions you may get direct questions from these papers so there are some five ten papers i guess uh, around ten papers you can do in three days easily so that will be a good thing for ISRO, uh, cs students to do and uh, the same other stream students can also do they can see whatever uh, pyq's resources they are available with they can solve those so I, i'm just actually dividing the five days which we have at our disposal into two parts doing some pyq's because ISRO is not a kind of a difficult exam. It will be easy to moderate one, but it will try to cover everything. So breadth will be covered uh, completely. So in the last two days, you try to revise all the concepts. Don't go in too much of depth, but just revise. The last category, which I'll say, those who have not prepared at all. You simply take one ISRO exam, PYQ, and then revise the topics you are already good at. You will not be good at all the subjects, but at least revise those topics in last three days in which you are good at. So this is all. Uh, through which you can actually uh, utilize your last five days. Now coming to how will we attempting the paper. Ranjit, uh, are you able to follow up with me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Vinay. Yeah. So moving to the second part, paper attempt strategy. So since we have seen the how the paper structure would be, it would be around 80 technical questions, 15 general aptitude questions, giving us completely of 120 minutes. So you have to strategy, you have to make a good strategy. How can you cover everything? Because since uh, you have uh, around... Uh, 95 questions to be solved in 120 minutes. So I will <coughs> suggest you one strategy which I always followed in my exams. Always do it in second rounds. So first round you should be able to cover all the technical questions, all the questions first round you cover and then save some time for the second round coming to some questions which you could not solve. Because if you stuck in some questions, some difficult questions, they may end up, uh, you may end up spending a lot of time there and you may end up leaving easy questions. So it's always better to cover all the questions in one go in first round. So first round you have to start your exam, cover all the technical questions without giving more than one minute to any of these questions because there will be 80 questions. Don't give more than uh, one minute to any of the questions. Max in 80 minutes, you should be able to finish the first round of all the technical questions or max 85 minutes. If you are crossing 85 to 90 minutes, I, I think you will not be able to get the second round to revisit the questions. So max 85 minutes, you have to complete all the uh, questions and then you go to the aptitude questions. Aptitude, there are 15 questions. Try to solve uh, the first round in 20 minutes. And while you are solving and going this first round from first question to 95th question, keep marking the questions which you are going to come back in the second round is marked for you. Whichever you feel, you can come back and then solve, which are which are not able to solve in the first go. Now, I assume that you have spent 80 minutes covering technical and then 20 minutes, 100 minutes have passed. You have fair amount of 20 minutes with you to revisit the questions which you could not solve and which you have already marked for review. So in the second round, you have 20 minutes. You start from the first question, wherever you have marked for reviews, there may be 20 questions, 40 questions. You just cover them up in one by one and then you are done with the complete exam. So you have covered every question. In this kind of an exam, you cannot afford to leave any of the questions. You have to cover all the questions. And, and mind you, the reasoning exam, you have to, even if you are not able to solve these 15 questions, you have to mark the answers because there is no negative marking. Always mark answers even when you are not able to get the answer because there is no negative marking. Where there is ne negative marking, don't try to solve a question if you don't know. If there is a 50-50% possibility you are able to rule out two options, then out of two options you can probably try to mark one. 
that can fetch you marks but don't try to just uh, marks a question without knowing it at all if you are able to rule out two options then you can go ahead otherwise don't go ahead leave the question otherwise it will not fetch you marks it will get you negative marks which will end up reducing the marks further so this is how you have to attempt the exam first round second round cover first round mein you have to cover one by uh, one don't give more than one minute and then mark the reviews and then second round you come and do everything so this is how you have to attempt the paper so i think i have covered both the things and uh, this my key takeaway is uh, you have to revise all the topics don't go in too much of depth in any of the topic don't try to do phd at the end just try to grab basic basic things for, from every subject because isro is going to ask every subject revise and study till the last day don't start relaxing in the last day because some people say you have to relax relax in last days but don't do that this may distract you from the examination setting you have to just continue i'm not saying put extra efforts but be normal be study nicely till the last day sixth day sixth of january revise easier subjects near to the exam so when you have to when you are revising in last 3 days or 2 days revise the subjects which you are not good at and then revise the subjects near to the exam which you are good at so that your confidence levels are high and also ensure that in the last 5 uh, days or the exam day you are uh, spending in healthy way you don't clutter your mind by anything just focus on your study and uh, be regular don't eat anything which is heavy so that you may get sick because if you get sick there is no point in studying there is no point you may end up uh, missing your exam so on the exam day also maintain the regular diet for the last 5 days so that it's a normal regular life so that it doesn't hamper your mental structure and you are able to focus on the exam and uh, i think we have covered everything if you have any further queries please reach out to me on my social media profile i'll try to respond as soon as possible ranjit anything remaining no no we are good actually i have covered everything yeah all the five days or six days strategies and how to attempt the exam and the resources how to follow everything you have shared correct i think really it will very helpful to, helpful to our students yeah and don't waste your time in any of the things just that's why we have actually uh, made this video very crisp and quick for all of you so that you can just see it and get on to the work as you have already been preparing for a long time so spend these 5 days nicely so that you can give the best of yours on 7th of jan and one or two mistakes or anything can get you out of the race so it's better you prepare yourself better thank you so much when i firstly for accepting our request uh, for this content thank you my pleasure yeah that's it from me and guys please do subscribe frontlines media youtube channel i am ranjit signing off thank you